In this um, podcast, I'm going to talk about calculating z-scores. Z-score. Z is equal to the observation in question minus the mean divided by the standard deviation. Again, when we calculate a z-score, we want to know how many, uh, how many standard deviations away from the mean is a specific observation which is the formula would be x minus mu which is the mean divided by the standard deviation. Let me give you an example. Let's say the mean is equal to 15. The specific observation in question is equal to 10. The standard deviation is equal to 5. So z is equal to x minus mu or the mean divided by the standard deviation. This is standard deviation is denoted by the letter sigma. This equals 10 minus 15 divided by 5, which is equal to negative 5 divided by 5, which is equal to negative 1. So, we can ask the question, what is the probability an observation is more than 10 and what is the probability an observation is less than 10? So we draw a bell curve, put the mean right in the middle, which is 15. The value of 10 is to the left of 15, of course. The z-score at 15 is 0, and the z-score of 10 is negative 1. We just made that calculation. So it's all the area between 10 and 15, and everything greater than 15. The blue area plus the green area. That will give us the percent or the probability of an observation being greater than 10. So in the book, again, you look in your book for the value between 0 and 1, which is 0.34. We know that anything greater than the mean, the area greater than the mean is 0 0.50. So it equals 0 0.8400 or about 84%. So we can say 84% of the values are going to be greater than 10. And we also know that 16% of the values, or 0.166, I'm sorry, 0 0.1600, will be less than 10. So here are the steps. Step one, draw a bell curve. I'd really recommend you draw a bell curve. Step two, put in the mean value. Step three, put in the value of the observation shade the area in question step five fill in the values and calculate so let's do this again step one draw a bell curve and it can be somewhat a bell curve it doesn't be exact step two put in the mean value in this case it was 15. step three put in the value of the observation in this case it's 10. step four shade the area we shade the blue area we shade the green area. Now we fill in the values. 0 for 15, negative 1 for 10. We put 0 0.3400, which is a table value. 0 0.5000 in the green area. So it gives us 0 0.8400, or 84% above. And again,